Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnagar. The news in detail. Despite the imposition of a night curfew, the Nagpur district administration is in a shock to witness double-digit cases from the past three days. The district on Tuesday witnessed a huge jump as 44 new COVID-19 cases were reported in the last 24 hours, the biggest tally since October. Meanwhile, only one person recovered from the greater virus. Among the new cases, 34 are from Nagpur city, while three are from rural areas in the district, while seven are from outside the district. With the threat of the third wave a looming large, instructions have been issued in various places in Nagpur city, and citizens are advised to take all necessary precautions. Fortunately, no death has been reported today as well, as we, which keeps the death tally constant at 10,122. After two days' addition of cases, the cumulative of positive cases reached to 493,904. The Federation of President Doctors Association, based in Delhi, has threatened to stop all health care services from Wednesday to protest, thrashing them by the Delhi Police on Monday. FODA and the Federation of All India Medical Association have announced that all health care services will be withdrawn from Wednesday. The resident doctors have been protesting an iron editing delay in starting the counseling procedure for NEET PG. The Union Health Minister, Dr. Mansuk. Mandvia has appealed to the resident doctors to withdraw the strike in the public interest. He also stated that the issue is a sub judice and the hearing in the Supreme Court is scheduled for January 6. The decision on NEET PG counselling can be taken only after the decision of the court. Efforts to contact Nagpur Unit of Maharashtra Association of Resident Doctors for its response did not succeed. Union Minister for Road, Transport and Highway Minister Nitin Gadakari on Monday said use of drones in the farm sector can generate about 50 lakhs jobs in a rural area, it was reported recently. Union Minister Gadakari was speaking at the concluding ceremony of Agrovision exhibition in Nagpur recently. He said the use of drone technology in the farm sector is the need of the hour and it can generate up to 50 lakhs jobs in the rural area in just one year. Elaborating the idea further, Gadakari said for spraying pesticides and crop nutrition from drones will require manpower for operating them and this will help open up huge job opportunities in the rural area. The union minister also said that he has discussed with his, with his cabinet colleagues about the need to draft a policy on adopting the drone technology in the farm sector. Now Metro has implemented a number of multimodal integration strategies including e-bike, e-rickshaw, electric vehicle charging stations, metro stations, feeder buses and passenger bicycles at every metro station along the Orange and Hoa line lines. The service is getting a huge public following. My bike and VIPL area are the owners of the bicycles stored at metro stations. These bicycles are all app-based and citizens may easily borrow them from metro stations. This bicycle can be used to get from the metro stations to your target stations while traveling by metro and it can be rented for a month also. Bicycles are provided at metro stations on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. Two per hour, Rs 479 or 599 this month's rate is available. The most important issue is that citizens, school and college students use the metro stations every day to commute by metro and then use bicycles from the metro stations to return their, their homes. Mayor Darshan Kathiwari visited the Swami Vivekanand Memorial near Ambazar Lake on Tuesday. At this time, he inspected the entire memorial area and instructed the concerned officials to pay attention to the cleanliness of the area, conduct repair of the memorial site and complete painting maintenance work. Executive Engineer Ajay Mankar, Park Superintendent Amol Chaurpagar, Assistant Commissioner of the Rampet Zone Prakash Varade, Nodal Officer Sanitation Dr. Gajendra Mahal, Executive Engineer Sri Kant Vaikar, Nana Godmare of Home Enterprises who are in charge of maintenance of the memorial site were present on this occasion. Some mural of uh, Swami Vivekananda have been erected at the Swami Vivekananda Memorial. Cleaning the coloring of these murals must be carried out. In some places inside the monument, the tiles and are broken and in some places the tiles are gone. Many instructed officials to conduct all repairs as swiftly and in as economical as a manner as possible. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching 
एनबीसीएन न्यूज सच दिखाएं बिना छुपाए